To meet the demands of the market and its customers, Plastic Capture software was developed as a new and innovative design concept. The software is not only powerful, but also user-friendly and affordable. Customers can learn to use it in a short time. Regardless of whether you are a technology partner, reseller or end-user, you can design, implement and customize various extraction processes as you like according to your requirements. The software includes extensive functionalities such as image optimization, text recognition OCR engine, document separation, form recognition, rule-based data extraction from semi-structured and unstructured documents, AI-based invoice recognition, document classification, parallel processing of multiple channels and multiple processes, and maximization of hardware resources. The software consists of three components. Doc Workflow, Doc Server, and Doc Validation. Doc Workflow is used to design and validate processes. The modular design concept allows users to design processes quickly and directly with the click of a mouse. This is the essence and a highlight of Plastec Capture. It is a key differentiator from other software solutions. Doc servers used to execute workflows that can support multiple processes simultaneously. Each process has its own input and output folders. Depending on the processing requirements, different processes can be prioritized. Depending on the license key and the resources of the hardware, the processing volume can be easily scaled. Doc Validation is a web browser interface that allows multiple users to work simultaneously to check and correct errors in extraction results. Let's now look at an example of how each of the three software components can be used. The example involves the extraction of a formatted file. For this purpose, the created workflow is loaded into the program. We now want to extract the data with the index, invoice number, invoice date, client number, and total sum. We have to use the operator key value. In this case, the respective key and value pattern must be defined. In the example, we are looking for the invoice date, which is why we have to make data-specific entries in the operator settings. This can be done by using powerful regular expressions or by entering the exact character string. The same process may now be done for the other extraction data. We also want the extracted data to be exported. Here we have decided to use a CSV and HTML export. In the Execute tab, the created workflow is now checked. To do this, sample documents must be loaded in and now the workflow is applied to the files. We can see that the data has been successfully captured and extracted. After an individual workflow has been created, Doc Server can be started. For this purpose, an application must be created and defined. There are many settings available to the user for this purpose. First of all, we need an input and output folder, which we have already created before. These must be selected together with the workflow in the settings. In addition to the time adjustment options of the process, the option with validation must be activated for a validation. When the application has been started, documents can be copied into the input directory. This is a simulation to preview the process. We now come to the next step. In Doc Validation, you can check the extracted data of the process in a web browser of your choice and correct it if necessary. As you can see in the example, the selected indexes with their associated data are mapped and available for the user to edit.
Open the output document with a browser of your choice. The extracted data including the index can now be viewed. You have seen how easy it is to define a workflow, use it in Doc Server, and then validate the data of the extraction process. The interaction of the three software components offers you an affordable and user-friendly solution to process your individual documents. Doc Workflow allows you to generate a work process tailored to your problem. This is conveniently and easily provided by an intuitive drag-and-drop system that includes operators for data extraction, correction and processing. With DocServer you can apply your workflow to structured as well as unstructured documents scaling the processing volume depending on the license key and the resources of the hardware. In Doc Validation the data of the extraction process can be viewed and corrected if necessary. This is done by simple mouse clicks and can be implemented by customers of all types without in-depth technical knowledge. Data extraction from a form is a common method of document processing. Well-known examples of forms are application forms, medical prescriptions or ID cards. Plastic Capture provides users with a form recognition feature that eliminates the need to define a complex coordinate system. Instead, it uses preprint keywords directly from the document to identify categories and reference points. To initiate form recognition, drag the operator fields into the workflow. Left click on the operator to open a tab where you can upload a reference document under Load so that a specific readout of data can be made. There are seven fields available for this purpose. These are explained in more detail using an example. In the following the zoom options are needed for greater precision. To select a region, click on the type field and mark the desired reference text by holding down the left mouse button. Note, however, that for optimal capture, the upper left corner of the selection box should be aligned with the upper left corner of the first character. In the operator settings, the name, text filter and deviation range can be set. Under the text filter option, the match word you are looking for must be defined. By double-clicking on the line, an additional window opens. Here the search value can be entered and confirmed by the tab key. The word entered determines which document type is searched for. In order for the marked text to be read in, an OCR recognizer such as Tesseract ICR must be embedded in the workflow. This step must be done for each field. If you want to drop the selected field and return to the normal selection tool, use the No Tool field. The anchor field serves as a reference point and is inserted near the extraction text for the sake of clarity. It must also be ensured that the upper left corner of the selection box is placed directly at the upper left corner of the first character. Under Text Filter we enter our desired search word and confirm by pressing the tab key and then press OK to close the window. In the example, a second anchor is added. This serves to compensate for variations in the document. In the Read field, the text to be extracted is marked. Here too, the text can be specified more precisely by a self-defined character string or by using powerful regular expressions. This is entered in the same way as for the previous fields under Text Filter. In order for the data to be output effectively, you must connect the anchor field and read field. The connection is placed at a read field or an anchor field and dragged to the desired field with the left mouse button pressed. To hide the connections, you can remove the tick from the option Show all anchors. You may use the same principle to read out barcodes and checkboxes. You can enter them with the help of the barcode field and the checkbox field. Let's switch to the Execute tab and apply the workflow to the selected files. We can see that the selected data has been successfully extracted.
You can export the data, for example, as a CSV or as an HTML file. For an HTML file, drag the export page operator into your workflow and apply it again to your batch of documents. Now open the generated file with a browser of your choice. Here you can view the extracted data. For a CSV file you need the operator CSV exporter. You can open the output file with Excel where the data can now be viewed and further processed. In the video you have seen how you can automatically extract data from different document types using individually defined form recognition. Based on the modular concept, a process or workflow can contain several form recognizers. Each of them can contain several areas for identifying categories, reference points and reading out data. This is done by using the customizable type fields which can be used conveniently and without creating a complex coordinate system. The following video shows you how to use barcodes to separate documents. You will see how easy it is to create a workflow or process for document separation using an intuitive drag and drop system. The purpose of document separation is to group or separate pages that belong to the same document with the help of specific characteristics. Effective and reliable document separation is an important sub-process in the overall document processing. It ensures the quality and increases the efficiency of the process. The first step is to include a barcode reader from the operator list into the workflow. The operator is selected with the mouse and dragged into the operator window. You can set up a barcode information in the process to identify the type of barcode. For example, you can select a one-dimensional barcode or a two-dimensional barcode with its category. You can also set other parameters such as the orientation of the barcode. Then a file separation is created by using the document separator. The goal is to select only the barcode that is of interest. This can be done by using substrings of the desired barcode content or by using powerful regular expressions. If the conditions specified in the settings are met, the current file is set as the initial page of the final document until the next barcode is found. Finally, the resulting document can be exported as a multi-page PDF or multi-page XML or HTML depending on the application requirements. The name of the destination folder can be chosen freely. If you want the output multi-page PDF to be embedded in a searchable OCR, you can drag an OCR engine like Tesseract ICR into the workflow. You can specify the language to be recognized beforehand. This way, the multi-page PDF created by the document separation will be converted to a searchable PDF. Now let's switch to the Execute tab and apply the generated workflow to all documents using the Execute Batch option. A batch process will be running here. Let's take a look at the resulting multi-page searchable PDF file. We do this by using Google Chrome as our browser. You can see here that the barcode is the beginning of the document. By pressing Ctrl A, we can see the embedded OCR text. We have shown how easy it is to set up the workflow and create a multi-page searchable PDF. Using an efficient drag and drop system, you can create any document separation based on selected parameters. Plustech Capture offers users various methods of document separation, such as using barcodes, highlighters, keyword search and more. Thank you for your interest and attention.